Shane was homeless and in rags. He had nowhere to live and no one to depend on. But he had a plan to turn himself into one of the city's richest people. One thing he didn't plan on though, was the evil that would stand in his way. You won't believe how Shane went from rags to riches. Yo, please leave me alone, stop it, no! I don't want disgusting poor people like you in my neighborhood, do you understand? Get back here! This is like the most unfriendly people in the entire world. I'm gonna beat you up if I find you, you stupid, smelly, disgusting man. I got lucky this time. I'm so sick of people treating me like this though. What have I done to anyone to deserve this? I'm a person too, and I should be treated like one. I was just trying to find a place to stay and maybe to see if someone would be nice enough to give me some food, but I guess maybe I should leave. I gotta find something to eat though. I'm starving. My gosh, I can't believe that this is my life now. I wasn't always so poor like this. It wasn't my fault. There was this awful storm. My whole town flooded. No one could help me because everybody got washed away in it. Luckily, I was able to find a way to escape, but I lost everything and there's no way for me to get it back. I have to start completely over. Everyone I've ever cared about is gone. I'm all alone. Oh, man, my stomach is growling. I'm so hungry. I need food. I haven't eaten in days. There's gotta be someone nice enough around here to help me out. Excuse me, sir. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm really hungry. Hey man, what what's going on? Look, dude, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't have any money. I haven't eaten in days. Some dude with a bat was just chasing me around because I'm poor. Is there any way you could just be a nice person and spare me some food? Oh my goodness, that sounds absolutely awful. Uh, yeah, here, uh, here's a sandwich. Oh my gosh, dude, thank you so much. You're like the greatest person in the entire world. That's a nice sandwich you got there. Uh, yeah, dude, thanks. Yeah, why don't you give it to me? No, I can't give you the whole thing, man. I haven't eaten in days. You want to split it with me? Hmm, no, how about this? I'm gonna take that sandwich now. No, stop it, it's my sandwich. All right, take this, ow! Oh, man, my head. Hello there, Shane. Nice to see you. Yeah, what's going on? Well, we found you knocked out, uh, unconscious, and uh, yeah, now you're here. Oh, that's right. That awful, super mean guy punched me and stole my sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care, man. Okay, here's your medical bill. What? I, I can't afford this. I don't have any money. Are you kidding me? What are you, poor or something? Yeah, dude, I am poor. What does that matter? Oh my gosh, I can't stand people like you. You're so poor and gross. And you think you can just come into my hospital? I just needed help, okay? I don't care if you needed help, okay? You probably deserved it. If I wasn't in this hospital, I'd punch you in your stupid face too for being so annoying. Jeez, man, all right? Uh, I'll do what I can. I, I can't pay you. Well, if you can't pay me, then I'm gonna have to call the cops. No, 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 please stop. Get back here, you stupid loser! You owe me money, and you owe me big money! My goodness, this is a mess. Now the cops are after me because of this stupid medical bill. I'm just so exhausted. I need to find a place to sleep. It's like, man, I just can't catch a break. Everything I do is just stressful all the time. It's all right, I just gotta stay positive. That's all I can do. I can't let things bother me. I gotta rebuild my life. I need things to go back to the way they were. Oh, look, there's a dumpster over there. I know it's gross, but I mean, I guess maybe it would make me stay warm. Oh, man, I can't believe this, but I guess I'm gonna sleep there. Oh man, it's been such a long day. Finally closing hours though. Just gotta throw this last piece of garbage out and I'll go home finally. Oh dude, oh my gosh, what is going on? Is this really what my life's become? People are literally just dumping garbage on me. I'm a person, man, why would you do that? No, I didn't mean it, I swear, I'm sorry. I didn't see you in there at all. Why are you even in the dumpster in the first place? I don't know. This I don't know how I'm in the dumpster. This is just what my life has become. Dude, I'm so sorry. You were the guy I gave a sandwich to earlier, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, man. Look, man, I, I really appreciated that. that. That meant a lot to me. And I'm sorry I got mad that you threw garbage on me. It just... 
I'm used to people just doing super mean stuff like that. Listen, man, I can tell that you're really struggling and I'm actually assistant manager here and I want to help you out. Wait, are you serious? How, do you have a job available or anything? We don't necessarily have a job available, but I'm sure I can make something work. I mean, that would be amazing. I'm down to do anything. I, I just want to work hard and just get my life back to normal. Awesome. Just come into the grocery store tomorrow morning and I'll get you set up. Hey, Clark, what's up, man? I'm here for my first day. I'm so excited. Oh, hey, Shane. I actually have someone to introduce you to. This is your coworker, Eunice. Hey, man, what's up? I'm Shane. Oh, my gosh. This is the guy you told me about, man. What seems to be the problem now, Eunice? The problem is he's a smelly homeless guy. He's got a stupid face that I want to punch, and I can already tell he's annoying. Dude, you don't even know me. I I'm just here to work hard and, and just show my appreciation to Clark for giving me this chance. Okay, whatever. What are you, his best friend now or something, man? He's just been incredibly kind to me, so I figured I would do a really good job and, you know, show him that I'm thankful. Oh, man, Clark. I can't believe you! You're the worst assistant manager in the world! Calm down there, Eunice, before I tell the main manager. Shane, don't take this personal. He's like this to literally every customer that comes into the store. Yeah, because I'm Eunice, man! Everyone loves me! I got the best customers in the world! They say, oh my gosh! Hey, Eunice! Eunice, that has literally never happened. Whatever, man! Don't you have a meeting to go to or something stupid? I got work to do, bro! Yeah, I'm actually gonna head out right now. Shane, good luck on your first day. Just don't set the store on fire and you'll be all right. All right, man, I think I can handle that. Thanks again. Ugh, jeez, man, I can't believe you're here. Look, I think we got off on the wrong foot, dude. Anyway, let me reintroduce myself. My name's Shane and I'm here to help. Look, man, you better stay out of my way. I don't wanna see your ugly, stupid face anywhere near me. You got it, bro? But I work with you, I have to. Just shut up! I can't believe it. I just got my first paycheck. I'm so excited. Oh, I want to get some food so bad. I have been so hungry. I haven't had a full meal in a long time. Normally I would save the money, but today I'm going to treat myself. Excuse me, sir. Can I have a hot dog? <laughs> what? No. Please, I have money to pay for the hot dog. Dude, no. I'm not serving you, okay? Get out of here. Wait, why? Why won't you give me the hot dog, dude? Don't you want to make a sale? No, because I'm friends with Eunice, and you're a stupid homeless loser that I'm never going to serve hot dogs to. Wait, seriously? You're friends with Eunice? That's why you're doing this? Yeah, yeah. Words out, man. You're a stupid idiot. No one likes you. Dude, stop being mean to me. Mm, let me think about that one. Huh? No, no, I'm not going to stop being mean to you. Get out of here now. I can't believe this. How could you even be friends with a person like Eunice? Well, he's a lot cooler than you, I can tell you that. He's not some stupid loser. I don't know, man. He seemed like he was pretty mean. What do you care? Just get out of here. Go, get out. Fine, whatever. I'll go get food somewhere else. I don't need your stupid food anyway. I can't believe it. This new job has been unbelievable. I finally have my own apartment again. I'm just so excited not to live on the streets anymore been amazing clark gave me such a great opportunity and i'm gonna work as hard as i possibly can i'm gonna save my money and i'm going to make something of myself i promise someday i'm gonna be rich and i'm gonna do really good things with my money i just can't wait to go inside and finally relax it's been a long work day hey what are you doing there what does it look like i'm doing kid Dude, stop doing that. Are you stealing from me? Oh, I'm glad that you could figure that one out, genius. Well, I caught you. Just drop the money and get out of here, and I won't call the cops. <laughs> you think I care about that? Think I care about the cops, man? Well, you should. Thanks for the money, you stupid moron. <laughs> hey, get back here. No, everything I work for, why? Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. Give me my money back. 
Yeah, dude, and this guy just ran off with everything that I had. Oh my goodness, man, that's awful. I can't believe that happened to you. Look, I really hate to ask, but is there any way that you can like boost my paycheck or something or, or just give me an advance? I just, I don't know how I'm gonna make my rent now, man. I really don't know, Shane. I mean, you really just started working here a couple months ago. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it, dude. I know it's too much to ask. It's just, I don't know what to do now, man. I, I could actually be homeless again. If my landlord gets mad at me and I don't pay the rent, I'm in a lot of trouble. Look, I'll try my best to see what I can do, but right now I'm just under a lot of stress from our boss. Why? What's going on, dude? Well, usually every Monday we get some shipments for the store, but the last week or two, they've been missing, and I don't really know what's going on. Oh, like someone stole them or something? Or maybe they just forgot. Did you call the people that were supposed to deliver them? That's the thing. We called them, and they kept saying that they delivered, but we never got them at our front door. Oh, man, that's so weird. Well, look, dude, I don't mind helping out. I mean, you've been such a great friend and so helpful to me. What can I do? If you really want to help, the warehouse is down the street from here. Okay, well, maybe I can go to the warehouse and just see if I can find anything. Who knows? Maybe they're just missing in the back somewhere and someone forgot to put them on the truck. And you'll know what the warehouse looks like. It usually has white trucks parking outside of it. Perfect, dude. I'll get on it. I'll find the missing stuff and everything's going to be good. All right, well, now this looks like it's the place. This is great. All I got to do is just go inside and just try to find this stuff. Is that Eunice? Come on, Shady Steam, man. Let me just give you some money and you take care of selling this stuff for me. Well, you know I love speaking the language of money, Eunice. Yeah, if we keep taking this stuff, you're gonna make a lot more, okay? But I can't do it on my own. Well, you know me, Shady Steve loves to handle these types of situations for you. Yeah, 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 I know, Shady Steve. We're gonna have a really good partnership as long as you don't do anything stupid, okay? Just get this stuff out of here, man. And don't tell anybody so we don't ever get caught. Too late for that, dude. You just got caught. I'm gonna tell the manager. Oh, here we go, Mr. Homeless Hero to save the day. How <laughs> you didn't hear nothing, stupid. I heard everything. You guys have been stealing everything and you're selling it. All right, well, here's the thing, dude, okay? I'm telling you, you're making a big mistake messing with me, man. Yeah, you don't know who you're dealing with. We're talking about boss man Eunice. That's right, I'm Eunice. I don't care, dude. I'm gonna do what's right. And what you're doing is terrible. I'm leaving. All right, dummy. Well, you're going to pay the consequences then. Sorry, I really got to talk to you. I know what's happening with the stolen goods. It's Eunice. You're really saying our own worker is stealing from our own store? Yeah, dude, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why is that so hard to believe? You've met Eunice, right? He's a terrible person. Look, Shane, you barely started working here a couple months ago. I don't know if I could just take your word for it. Well, what, do you want me to show you some proof or something? Because I can. Really? You have proof? Yeah, dude, they were stealing a whole truck's worth of stuff. I can prove it. Come on. It's got to be right over here. Just follow me. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, Mr. Manager, thank you so much for coming and saving me. Shane lit the truck on fire, man. What? No, I didn't, Eunice. I just caught you stealing. You did this. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my goodness, Shane. You lit the truck on fire and kidnapped Eunice? What is wrong with you? What? I never did any of those things, man. I found who's stealing. It's Eunice. This is all just a big lie. Eunice just doesn't want to get caught. I would never steal anything from anyone. I'm a nice man. And now you're trying to frame him. This is absolutely ridiculous, Shane. Dude, this is the most insane thing in the entire world. I'm trying to help you, and you're taking Eunice's side. Yeah, well, look at him. He's trapped next to a truck on fire. Whose side do you think I'm going to take? Shane, after this, you are fired. Yo, what are you doing here? Shane, you're already late two weeks on your rent. I need the money now. Look, I just got fired, okay? It's only been two weeks. I can find another job. Just give me a little bit more time. I really need this apartment. 
I think you missed the part where that's my problem. I'm here to collect the money. I don't care about your living situations. Please, man. I just need a few more days and I can get you the money. I promise. Don't be so upset with me, please. It's hard not to be upset at stupid people who lost their job. Maybe if you were responsible enough, you would have a stable enough income to pay a simple rent. Look, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't have the money. I don't care. I'm kicking you out of here. No, I got nowhere else to go. I'm going to be on the street. Please just give me another day. I promise. Not giving you another second. Now get out of here before I call security. My gosh, I can't believe this. How is this happening to me again? Eunice is such a terrible person. How could he do this to me? Man, I don't know. I guess I got to go and try and find another job now. Hey Shane, what's up? Oh, Clark, dude, did you hear what happened? Yeah, he was so mad that I hired you on that I also got fired. Dude, I'm so sorry. You know that I didn't do any of this, right? Of course I know you didn't do anything. As soon as I heard Eunice was in the mix, I knew he had something to do with it. Yeah, man, well now I got nowhere to go. I just got kicked out of my apartment. Well, look, I still have my place, so let's go back there and figure out what to do. Dude, are you sure I can stay here? Yeah, just don't even worry about it at all. You can stay here in the meantime, but the main thing we need to worry about right now is what to do about our jobs. Yeah, I know, dude. Because if you can't pay the rent here and I can't help you, then we're going to be kicked out on the streets either way. Yeah, I know. But look, man, we got to think positive, okay? Being all upset is not going to make anything any better. I have this idea and this dream of maybe we could start our own business. You really think we're good enough? I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure what we would do, though. Hey, man, you still want to sell me that lawnmower or what? Oh, hey. Yeah, I mean, it's right here if you want to take a look at it. Yeah, that's great. This is an awesome price, man. Thank you so much for selling it to me. Yeah, of course. Anytime. Uh, just go ahead and take it. Cool. Here's the cash, man. Thanks again. What, are you selling your stuff or something? Yeah, any old things I found in my garage, I've just been selling just to make money in the meantime. Dude, that's it. You and I were both really good at working at the store. Why don't we buy stuff and sell it? Like we'll flip stuff and we'll start our own store. That is a brilliant idea. We should start that right away. Yeah, we got nothing but time anyway. Let's get started, dude. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Better tell the boss man. Hey, boss man, I got something I need to tell you. Oh my gosh, dude, you're so loud and annoying. Oh, my head hurts listening to you talk. Look, I'm sorry. I think this is just very important for you to know. Well, then say it already, stupid. I ain't got all day, man. The two losers we dealt with, Shane and his dumb friend, they're thinking about starting their own business. Yeah, right. They're gonna fail. They'll never do nothing. And even if they do, you think I'm gonna let that happen, man? Of course not, boss man. I never doubt you. Yeah, you better not, Shady Steve. Or else we're gonna have problems, okay? Shane and that stupid guy that used to be the assistant manager, Chubbs or whatever his name is, that fat loser, he's not ever gonna work in this town again because I'm Eunice. Uh, hello, uh, can I see a manager? Who are you talking to, dude? Don't you know it's rude to interrupt people? We're in an important meeting! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, this is a store and I'm a customer. Oh my gosh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. You know what? I forgot to tell you. Forgot to tell me what? Shut up and get out of my store now! I don't care about you and your ugly face! Dude, this is awesome. I can't believe it. We converted your garage into our store. Now we don't have to pay any extra rent or anything. I got the ads online and it seems like people want to come down and buy stuff. You're such a natural at this. You knew exactly what to do and how to do it. Well, before everything was really bad, I was starting my own business doing something similar. So I already worked everything out. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Well, I'm proud of you too, man. We're doing this thing together. And I think that we're going to grow the biggest business that we could ever grow. And we're going to be rich someday, I'm telling you. We'll look back on all this hardship and be like, it was worth it because it got us to where we are now. You're totally right. We finally got all this stuff set up. So now we just need to wait for some customers to come in. 
Uh, yeah, hi, that's not gonna happen. My name is Mark. I'm here from the city to shut you down. Oh, why? Well, we got a tip from a concerned citizen that this store is not zoned to be here. And you have no permits, sir. Oh, we didn't know that we needed a permit. We actually looked it up online and it didn't say that we needed it at all. It's pretty much just a garage sale. Oh, what, you think you know my job better than me? Okay, I told you, I work for the city. You work for no one because you're a loser. Whoa, hey man, relax, okay? We're just over here trying to make an honest living. Yeah, well, it's not very honest when you cheat the system and you lie and you scam people. I'm shutting it down. I can't believe this. It's already over before it even started. D no, don't get discouraged, okay? It's just a setback. Everything's going to be fine. We'll get this whole thing figured out. <laughs> Stupid idiots. Hey, sir, we're here for a meeting. Oh, yeah. Are you Shane? Yeah. Hey, dude, that's me. It's nice to meet you. Um, so we've got a business plan to talk about. Oh, your business plan. Yeah, you're telling me that over the phone. Let's hear it. Well, so basically we're, we're finding stuff that's really inexpensive at a really good deal and then selling it for what it's actually worth. It's called flipping. Oh, wow. That's actually a really good idea. But I'm going to have to deny you. What? Why would you deny us? You just said that you liked our idea. Look, I really wish I can help you out, but I just can't. Come on, Clark. Let's get out of here, I guess. I can't believe this. All right, let's go. And the two idiots are leaving just as planned. <laughs> Time to go inside and talk to the bank guy myself. Hey, did you do what the boss told you to do? Uh, yeah, I did. I just don't know if it was the right thing to do. They, they really had a solid plan and... But whatever, I just want my money now. Oh, yeah, about that. Well, what do you mean about that? We had a deal. Yeah, so we got that deal and we altered it a little bit. Boss's orders. Well, what did you do? What did you change about it? Well, you see, instead of money, we actually got your coupons for our store. This is ridiculous. You said you were going to give me money. Yeah, but don't worry. Don't worry. Our store has the top of the best items for you. So you'll be able to get a discount and get that money back. That's ridiculous. Your store has insanely high prices. I never even shopped there. Well, hey, that's the deal. You either take it or leave it. Well, fine. I don't even want your coupons. Just leave. Well, your loss. Look, man, I'm really sorry, okay? I didn't mean to get your hopes up. I didn't know that wasn't going to work. It's okay. Just because one person turned us down doesn't mean that's the end of the road. If we work together, I'm sure we can make something happen. Yeah, I think so too. We just got to come up with another plan. I mean, setbacks like this are bound to happen. I mean, this whole last year or two of my life has been like this. And at least it's starting to get better. At least I got a friend and we got a business idea. So that's good. Hey, wait up. Hey, what are you doing here? Look, I'm, I'm sorry for denying your loan, okay? I liked your idea so much. Yeah, well, if you liked it so much, why did you deny me, man? Look, it's, it's a long story, I promise. But I still want to find a way to help you guys. Okay, well, I don't really know how you can. I mean, the loan is really all we need. We just need enough money up front so that we can get all the stuff and we'll sell it. We'll be able to pay the loan back in like a month, maybe two. Well, look, I can't get you a loan from the bank, but... I want to help with my own money. I want to invest. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. What changed your mind? Let's just say I really hate coupons. Uh, okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man. You're literally making our dreams come true. Dude, this is it. We got our own store. This is amazing. I can't believe this. I mean, we came from a garage. We have definitely made some right steps. Yeah, dude. And this is only the beginning. Things are really starting to pay off for us. We're going to be really, really rich soon. I can just feel it. No more living off the streets or having hot dog vendors scream at me. I really want to thank you. I mean, you're literally a genius when it comes to this stuff. I'm surprised that you were even homeless to begin with. Uh, hi there. I'd like to buy a stapler, please. Oh, yeah, sure. And you know what? We're feeling so good today, so take this discount along with it. Ah, thank you so much. That's so cool. Dude, I'm really thinking that this idea is going to work out. Things are going to be so much better for us. Look at how excited that guy was. We just made his day. I know, and it was just a small stapler too. Imagine if we sold bigger items to people. I think that we should start helping out other small businesses in the area too. If all of us work together, we're all going to be stronger. I can't believe it. 
they opened up a stupid store right under my nose. And all of a sudden, it's doing good. No way, no way, no way. Eunice, are you all right? This is the third time you're screaming today. Yeah, man, you're really freaking me out. Shut up, creepy Rob. My gosh, you smell terrible. Take a bath. I don't want to. I don't like baths. Just what, what's going on? I just can't believe it, okay? These stupid guys put in the store even though I said it wasn't going to happen. Well, I mean, Eunice, it seems like that's kind of on you. No, it's on you two idiots, okay? You can't even stop a guy from opening up a store and following his dreams and having a successful business. Who even are you? I'm sorry, man. We tried. That's all we did. Yeah, we were just following orders. Yeah, well, I got another idea. We got to stop these guys, man. Well, what do you think we should do then, boss? I got the perfect plan for everyone. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. We got everything. Yeah, I know. The boss man's going to be so happy. We left them with absolutely nothing. What kind of idiot leaves all the money in the safe? They didn't even bring it to the bank yet. We got everything they've made. <laughs> yeah, I know. And their safe code was 1234. But anyway, we got to get out of here before the cops come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Oh my gosh, dude. We've been robbed. No, no, everything's gone. Did you say that you just got robbed? Yeah, all the money's gone, dude. I don't know what to do. Well, look, I put all my hard work money into this store. You better find out what to do. Well, what am I supposed to do, man? I didn't steal it. I don't know, but it's your responsibility to figure it out. You run this place. All right, I promise. I'll make things work. I'll find a way to get the money back. Yeah, you better, because if not, I'm taking all of my money out of the investment. Man, I can't believe it. I got nothing to sell. Uh, hey there. I was wondering, what do you have in stock? It doesn't look like you have much. Um, well, I got this pack of gum, dude. Ugh, you have the worst flavor gum I've ever seen in my life. Well, I'm really sorry. We don't have anything else to sell. What kind of store is this anyway? A stupid one that sells nothing? No, we usually sell stuff. We just don't have anything. We don't have the money to buy anything because someone robbed us. Well, were they, what did they rob? There's nothing here. Please just come back in a few months when we get everything back and settled. I promise it's going to be the best store in the whole world. Yeah, no, it's going to be a terrible store because it's run by an idiot. Oh, my gosh. I couldn't even sell that guy a pack of gum. And he just starts freaking out at me. And now we've got all these loans and all this stuff. I'm so stressed out, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Dude, look, please, can we have another chance? I just need a little bit of money to buy some inventory. I promise you, everything's gonna work out. It was just a minor setback. A minor setback? You still have my money. This is the third time this week that you told me that you have it. I don't care what you're saying. I can't even trust your word for it. I mean, dude, that's all I got is my word, okay? I've tried to follow through with everything that I said. I promise I'm doing the best that I can. Everything's gonna be okay. You just have to have faith. Yeah, well, I don't. I really wanted to trust you with this business, but I need to take my investments out. I've had enough. No, no, you're going to bankrupt us. I'm sorry, but it's not my problem anymore. Oh my gosh, man. I overheard everything that just happened. Dude, we have to find out who stole from the store. I mean, that's the only way we can get our money back. We don't have any cameras. They couldn't find anyone. Yeah, whoever did this did not leave any evidence behind. They knew what they were doing. We just got to try to find all the criminals in this city and then work our way backwards until we can find our stuff. It's not impossible. We can achieve anything that we want as long as we work hard. I'm telling you, we're going to get this straightened out and things are going to get better. Dude, this is weird. There's like a line in front of the store and Eunice is running it now. Yeah, I mean, we both know from working with him that customers can't stand him. And plus, it's the only store that we visited that looks like it's doing well. Yeah, I know. Every other store looks like ours. And there's been a bunch of robberies in the area. Hey, what's up, losers? You wanted to come see what the best store in the city looks like? Eunice, what did you do? How is this even possible, man? Oh, let me tell you. It's because I'm the best and you're the worst. That's how it happens. 
but you're terrible to your employees you're terrible to the people that come in and buy stuff and you're just all around a mean person oh wow thanks for the compliment man why don't you go back to your store and write a song about it or something you know because you got a big empty space with nothing in it you might as well do some activities man we were robbed did you know that why would i know anything about it man i got a business to run and if you two stupid idiots don't buy something then get out Dude, it's so suspicious that Eunice is doing this well. Yeah, I know. It's to the point where we even saw billboards of a store on the street. How can he even afford all of this? I don't know, man. And he's also like a horrible person. Nobody even likes going there, but all the other stores are out of business. Or at least going out of business. Wait, look, it's another store across the street and it looks like it's closing down. Yeah, let's go talk to the manager. Hey man, what's going on? Oh, hey there, how's it going? What's up with your store? You out of business? Well, all my stuff got stolen. And then a man came and just bought the store. Wait, so you were robbed too? Yeah, I was. The man who bought the store, what did he look like? Oh, I don't know. Fat, ugly, stupid. He was horrible. He had a mean voice. But honestly, it helped me out. At least I only lost $50,000 instead of 100. Shane, do you think that this is Eunice? It has to be, man. He's the only one that I know that fits this description. Dude, look at it in here. I know, it's so sad and empty. It's so much different from our opening day. I know, but we don't have time to be sad, man. We gotta figure out what Eunice is up to. It definitely seems like it was him who had his hand in this whole entire operation. Yeah, you're right. If we stand around being sad, then we're not gonna get anything done. But what even is there to do? I'll tell you what there is to do. Sell your store to me, Eunice. What? No, we're not selling it to you. We know you're up to something not good. Oh, you think you know everything, huh? Well, guess what, man? You don't. Well, we're not selling to you. What? Your store's worth maybe, what, $10? I'll tell you what. I'll give you 11 bucks, and you can go and get out of here. We're not going to take your money, Eunice. Now, just get lost. Wow. Okay, dummies. You want to lose everything that you've ever had? Go ahead. Doesn't matter to me. Either way, it's hilarious. Well, you're the one that stole from us, Eunice, and we're going to prove it. You're going to go down for it, man. Yeah, yeah, right. Never going to happen. Okay, bye. I need to sneak in here and see if I can find any clues. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What are you doing in here? Look, I know what happened, okay? I know you guys stole from me. Huh? No, I never stole anything. Wait a minute, you're the hot dog guy. Not, no, what are you talking about, man? I'm not anybody. I'm Creepy Rob. I mean, I'm not Creepy Rob. Don't say I'm Creepy Rob. My gosh, I... Okay. Okay, so you're Creepy Rob? Oh, how did you find out, man? Look, you stole from me, okay? No, no, I didn't do it. Okay, dude, well, I know that you're lying, and I'm gonna make sure that your hot dog cart goes out of business forever. No, don't do that. I worked really hard for that. It's the only legitimate business I have, man. Well, you better start talking, dude, because everybody knows that it was you. Everybody. And everyone's going to know Creepy Rob is a terrible person. Oh, no. No, it wasn't me. Ask Shady Steve. He knows everything. He just asked me to help. That's all. That's all I know. Shady Steve, huh? Who's that? It's Shady Steve, dude. I just said it. I mean, what are your ears blocked or something? Okay, well, do you know where I can find him? Yeah, yeah. You can find him over by where the supplies are, okay? Just leave me alone, okay? Okay, thanks, man. Oh yeah, I'm finally about to sell all the valuables here. And I'm gonna make such a huge profit. And if anyone knows, Shady Steve's language is money. <laughs> yeah, I also think that you're stupid, okay? I know what you've done, man. You're the one that's robbing people. Well, 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 if it isn't lame, Shane, you get it because it rhymes. Yeah, well, it doesn't rhyme that well, Shady Steve. But you know what does? You're gonna go to jail for everything that you did. Oh, wait, it doesn't rhyme, but it's still the truth. Yeah, you probably can't rhyme because the beanie on your head is cutting the circulation off. And look, you'll never get us to admit it. The cops aren't going to know nothing. Yeah, everyone's going to know everything, man. Wait a minute. You like to make money, don't you? Of course. Everybody knows that that's my language. I love money. 
Okay, yeah, cool. We get it. You love money, dude. Well, how about this? Uh, once my store gets back up and running, instead of ratting you out to the cops, I'll give you some money. That means I betrayed the boss man, and I don't know if I'm about that life. Yeah, well, from what I heard, he's keeping almost all the money that you guys are selling. You're barely making anything, dude. Eh, yeah, you're right. All right, I give in. Oh, perfect. All right, tell me everything you know. We did it, man. We did it. Dude, I'm so proud of you. Thanks for taking care of everything. I just can't wait to see the future, dude. Yuna stopped messing with us. We got our money back. Everything's going good so far. Yeah, and now we can finally focus on our dream. We're going to own so many stores one day. I can just see it. Yeah, exactly, dude. And we're going to help people on our way. We're not going to be like Eunice and try to hurt everybody. Oh, my goodness. It looks like everything is back up and running, huh? Yeah, we did it. We found a way. Wow, well, I guess I'm the fool. Look, I'm just glad you were able to get back up on your feet. I really appreciate that, man. I mean, you did try to help us, and I understand that you had to pull out your investment because at the time, it didn't seem like it was a good one. Yeah, but you proved me wrong, and I think that I'm going to put my investment back in this place. Awesome. Well, that's really good to hear. I'm glad to have you as a partner, man. You've been an unbelievable good friend. But I have one last thing to deal with. I got to deal with Eunice. Where is everybody buying my stuff, man? And why did everybody else's business get back to where it was supposed to be? It's not fair. Oh, hey, Eunice. What's up, dude? What? What do you want from me, man? What's going on? Here, take this piece of paper. I can't read it. The writing's too small. Oh, well, I bought this building, dude, and you're fired. What? No, no, that's not allowed. I'm the manager now. I'm the manager. It's me, Eunice. Yeah, well, guess what? I bought the store. I bought the building and you're out of here, Eunice. No, it's not allowed, man. Well, it is because you've been nothing but terrible to everybody else. You don't deserve to be here, man. Everyone else has worked really hard and all you did was lie and scam and get people in bad situations. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that, man. All right, I was doing pretty good here. Yeah, at the expense of other people, Eunice. You can't treat people like that. Don't you get it? So you're telling me I'm fired right now? I got no more job? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you, Eunice. I'm shutting this whole store down. There's too much bad stuff has happened here. All right, well, I'm telling you one thing, stupid. You never mess with Eunice. I'll be back, man, and you'll be sorry. Dude, look at this place. I can't believe that we now own this entire mall. Yeah, I know, dude. We own a ton of stuff. We've invested all that money into real estate and buying all these businesses, and we were able to help all the people that Eunice hurt. And now all those small businesses are thriving. Everyone is doing so much better in their lives. Dude, and we finally made some money. We're not poor anymore. Did you ever think that would happen? Without you, I didn't think it was possible, but I'm just so proud that I had you as a friend. You really figured all this out for us, man. Well, hey, you were the one that gave me the chance in the first place. Oh, hi there, everyone. Oh, hey, there. this place is so awesome. Oh, thanks, dude. Hey, if you like skateboarding, you should go check out the skate park we opened up. Oh, my gosh, this is so good. I can't believe it. See, man, we're making a big difference in everybody's lives. Well, except for Eunice. He got what he deserved.